What's up guys? Today's video is all about what your band is doing wrong with Facebook. And trust me, you're probably doing a lot wrong. So let's get right into it, shall we? Now first let me kind of preface this by saying it's not your fault. You just don't really have any good role models on how to properly use Facebook. And hopefully I can help you with that because you will see a drastic uptick in sales of your music if you implement this strategy correctly. So that's reason enough, right? What most people do is they have a Facebook page that they never ever post on. And it's again, like you will see pretty much any big established band doing the same thing. So it is not your fault. However, big established bands do not need the strategy that I'm about to tell you because they have a label. So and labels are a whole other bad idea that we'll get into in another video. When you're an independent musician, you need to learn how to leverage Facebook properly. And a big part of that is don't treat it like a big established band that doesn't know how to use it. But most of you are. So you only post on Facebook once in a while to promote a show or a new piece of merch or a new album. You're like, hey, go buy my thing, go spend money on me. And then you wonder why no one spends money on you and you wonder why you only have like 500 followers. You should be posting to Facebook at least once a day. And you should not be promoting only yourself. In fact, that should be about 20% uh, of what you post. Every like five posts, you can mention, oh hey, maybe consider buying my thing. That doesn't work, and I'll tell you why that doesn't work in another video. Um, it has to do with psychology and why people aren't inclined to buy directly from Facebook. We will get into that, don't worry. However, yes, um, most of the time, if you want to build a loyal following of fans who will actually be okay with buying from you, what you should be doing is considering it a community. Considering it a place that people want to go, just like any other page on Facebook where they get their memes from. So figure out your, your band's niche, your genre, and post related to that and attract fans who are interested in that. And I know that sounds incredibly simplistic. It is that simplistic. Now your traffic growth is going to be terrible if you only do that and we'll get into how to use Facebook ads to really really quickly grow really good high quality people onto your page in another video and why you should be doing that if you want to sell a lot of music. However, so for this, the scope of this particular video we're just talking about what to post. So on my band's page, my band is, is a symphonic metal band, so I mostly post like joke memes about other symphonic metal bands. You know, there's a lot of drama still about people being butthurt about which Nightwish singer was better, so I, the jokes practically write themselves in that sense. Um, I have a lot of gamers on my page because there's a high overlap between symphonic metal fans and video games, so I can post video game stuff. Uh, videos do really well in that sense because there are sites like GameSpot or, or, sorry, there are pages like GameSpot or GameBite that post a lot of videos that get a lot of views, so just share them to your page. And I know this is going to sound weird, right? You're treating your band's page as a place to promote things that aren't your band. That's the most counterintuitive thing I think any musician will come across in this day and age of the internet. But it works. It really, really works. And I know, like, we're probably only like five minutes into this video, and I have given you a strategy that some people are literally paying hundreds of dollars to learn from music business quote-unquote gurus, okay? And I... <laughs> I don't agree that it's worth that much money, because you still need to know a lot of secrets and tricks and hacks that I will also be freely sharing with you, because I don't... I want to see you guys succeed, too. So literally just post things that people who would like your music should also like. You can, you can almost think of your ideal fan as being yourself. Assuming you're making the music that you actually want to make and you're not faking it for some trend, the people that also like that music have a high statistical chance of being very similar to you. So just ask yourself, really sit down, write this down. What do you like? What do you want to see? and how does it reflect your music. So in the case with the, the gaming memes, like I post a lot of Dark Souls, a lot of Final Fantasy, a lot of Legend of Zelda, because those fit very well with symphonic metal. I know that 
you know, a couple of the only other pages that I see doing this do something very similar. And f weirdly enough, they're all in the symphonic metal niche. Uh, there's one who leans more toward Celtic, and she posts a lot of Lord of the Rings inspired things, a lot of like castles. Eh, that wouldn't work for my audience, but it works for her. Uh, there's one band that posts a lot of like gothic imagery, a lot of like Edgar Allan Poe excerpts and H.P. Lovecraft and, you know, like, snowy landscapes. It, it, it makes me squeamish because it wouldn't work for my audience, but by all means they should be doing that because they're a lot more, like, gothic than my band is. You want to build up a, a culture of fans who like all the same things you do. So if some people get annoyed by the fact that you're suddenly posting about Legend of Zelda and they, they unlike your page, fine they will be replaced by someone who is much more like you and therefore much more connected to you. And that's really what you want as an amateur band. You know, there's this age-old adage of you don't need hundreds of thousands of fans, you need 1,000 devoted super fans. And there is some truth to that. It's not like a perfect representation of the, the struggle for us unsigned, in my case, willfully unsigned bands, but it's it's a good way to approach this. You want to be thinking about your super fans, your people who are incredibly connected and incredibly loyal, who will you know message you just to say, hey, how's it going? I was listening to your music today and it got me thinking about this thing. Like they want to have a conversation with you. These are people that you would actually sit down in a bar with and have some drinks. Are your ideal fans? So that's how you should be using Facebook and again in future videos we will get into a lot more of how to promote your page how, to, how that connects to selling music and uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching I have new videos on music marketing coming out every Wednesday as well as other music lessons of various types coming out every single day and that includes songwriting instrumentation creative mindsets audio engineering everything you could possibly need I aim to make this channel the single destination for anything and everything you will need to achieve success in music.